Hello everybody, my name is Miss Jackie and I'm coming to you uh, from Miss Gussie's Place. I am the founder and director of Miss Gussie's Place and we are a center for children with different abilities. And at Miss Gussie's Place, we believe in building upon the abilities of every child. We are now um, having our second summer camp. Our first summer camp um, was music camp and this week we're going to have sports camp. But for all of you who cannot come, I want to teach you how to make um, things like just more interesting for your child. For instance, kick bowling. I know you're not familiar with kick bowling, but today I'm going to teach you how to make a kick bowling alley for your child. And it's made so that they can sit in their chair and kick this and kick it so everything is accessible for your children, okay? So what's going to happen is I made this kind of A-frame thing. I actually didn't come up with this at all myself. It's, a, it's based on the baby gym. And I went to, you know, you just go to Google and Google and baby gym. And this pod, they call it a seed pod, um, kind of um, baby gym came up. And this great lady, she put this together. And um, so you can go on, you can look, and there are these ovals that you get from Home Depot, everything I got from Home Depot. And I use um, this kind of wood. You can make it as tall or as short, you know, depending on how big or small your child is. But what will happen is I made this kind of A-frame, you know, with these two ovals on the side. And you see it's very simple. Um, and I don't know if Katrina can zoom in, but on the side you'll see it's just like a triangle. Um, and this is how I kind of... You know, and it's and again, I didn't. This lady um, came up with it. I'm not sure of her name, but got it from Google. But this is what she did. She just drew, you know, this kind of half triangle, and you know, that's where I, I find it. Um, it does help to know where you're going to drill. For my second one, I didn't, and it was much easier actually. But for this one, I use, you know, I follow all the rules. But what we're going to do once you have your frame built, and that's not the, that's the easy part, really, all of it's pretty easy. But I want to show you how to make it accessible for your child to, to participate in kickball. Now, um, first of all, um, after we have our frame, I started making um, these, these are bowling pins, which these are plastic um, water bottles that I've been drinking some water, and so I've been saving them. I know we're looking for something. But I saved them and I, I put duct tape, took some duct tape, and I wrapped it around the bottles. Of course, if you have a child with cortical visual impairment, you know that red is uh, the color that they can see better than any other color. And also yellow is like the second color. And so that's why I use red and yellow. I use red and yellow in Miss Gussie's Place t-shirt. Everything so that our children um, will make it easier and more fun for them. We don't want them having to, what is that? You know, we want them to be able to see it so they can get their play on, okay? So we have these water bottles and inside, all I did was, I put rocks, took some little um, stones that you can buy from Hobby Lobby or Walmart, any place like that, and I put them in because I want it to be a very um, good a reward when they fall down. It's even more reward and more sound that you hear. So I took some rocks and I put them in the bottle. And so what we'll do is we'll place them here so you can see this is how we'll place them. I think I left one in the car. But you get the, you know, you get what we're doing. And so after we've done that, remember you just need some duct tape and a water bottle and some rocks. You got your bowling pins. Isn't that great? Yes. So now, um, we need a ball. I like to use these lanterns, and they're paper lanterns. You can get them from any uh, craft store, you know, Party City, you know, they have them. But these are these paper lanterns that you can get, and um, the texture is really great uh, if, if a child has a visual impairment or any kind of thing dealing with, you know, uh, tactile or textures that you're trying to make it more interesting for them to touch. And so I like to use the lantern. It's a great sound. And I placed a bell in my lantern, um, you know, just so my babies will know exactly where it is when they kick it. And so um, 
I take this lantern, this is gonna be a ball. And so I take uh, some rope. Let me go over here. I know Katrina's gonna shoot me. I'm going on out of thing, but I got me some rope from um, Home Depot also. And you just take the rope, you tie it. You can tie it from that side of this side. I'm just doing it from this particular side. And you tie the rope. You put the rope, you connect it to here. And I, it's not together because I had to take it apart to get it in my car. But what we'll do is, I'm going to bring it up here. And um, you take this, and your, your baby will be sitting here. And then, of course, they'll go kick bowling. <laughs> now, we can make it even more fun. Let me show you what we can do. I have what we call a residence board. This is another thing. Um, you can just use a board, basically. But so that our babies can get even more of a reward, this is a Miss Gus's Place Invention of a Rhythm Seat, but we won't talk about it right now. But you can also place it on wood. And of course, but anyway, so if we put it here, and of course you have to, you know, do a little adjustments. But I like it even more on this surface, and of course our baby will kick, and it's an even bigger sound. You can put bells in the bottles, you know, so that you can get a big reward. Now, I also have, you know, you can use a lantern, but look at this. I have a soccer ball here on this particular structure that I put together for one of my students. But this is a soccer ball. The same thing. Let's see if I can get it off here. It's going to take me like an hour to get it off. But um, but we can take this soccer ball. Oh, I'm sorry. I have planted it under here. But you can take a soccer ball and put a rope around it with these bales. Use a soccer ball, you know, put it here also, you know, just tie it on here. And this is, the soccer ball is not as easy to, it's easy, but it's, you know, not as clean cut as a lantern. But you just tie your soccer ball here. And I have an even bigger ball, which I actually prefer for kickball. But you can take your soccer ball, and this actually helps, you know, use your vision even more because the ball is small. You know, take the soccer ball and, you know, do the same thing, you know. And put the pins, of course, in front of there. So this is what we call kick bowling. And you can do it at home. It's very easy. And guess what? Your child. They're going to love it. And that's what we're supposed to do. We want to make them happy. That's what children do, play. Our kids want to play too. And this is something they can do for the summer. You know, you can have a kick bowling league. Wouldn't that be pretty awesome? <laughs> but anyway, um, come back to Miss Gussie's place. We got some other fun things. I do want to show you how to do for your child. So this can be a wonderful summer for you and your sweet babies. I love you, Miss Jackie. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. <laughs> That's my producer. This is kickballing. Right leg. Yeah. Come on, we use the left leg. Right leg in. Let's put your right leg in. Right leg, right leg. Woo! Good job. 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 Dance. Yes, your happy dance. Yes. Go, <laughs> Tasha.